Hello friends and welcome back to Full Stack Devlogs. Uh, the last video or the first video of this channel which we did on understanding the uh, pub sub example on using Kafka uh, on Node uh, was very much appreciated by people like you and uh, now this is an extension to that. Uh, now we will try to understand that how to uh, like create a project out of the work we are doing. I mean to say that whatever flows that we are creating we want to save these flows as a part of a project and we want to make this project live on a github repository or basically rather than change this project in itself into a github repository and how node red helps us in that so first of all i would like to say that go to the node red uh, channel uh, official channel and you will see the introduction to node red projects here very beautiful uh, and very uh, detailed uh, video on how node red projects work and all related settings and configurations so you can do this from there and then let's try to understand like uh, what we are doing it just to uh, mention you in order you have not uh, seen the first video although it is not mandatory to see the first video if you want to see this but still if you want to see it uh, you can get it from the i link on the top of this uh, video so let's proceed so as you see there is no project associated right now here and the, we see four tabs information tab help tab debug tab and layout uh, dashboard tab right now uh, so there is four tabs right now and soon after doing the settings we will see that there is a fifth tab which will be known as a history tab where all our versioning will be maintained. Now let's start. So you will uh, just uh, need to open your settings.js file uh, inside wherever your node is installed and uh, just access that file and uh, you will see this editor theme property. So we will change it enabled property to true, the enabled flag to true okay it's saved and now what I will do is I will just restart my node red okay so it's restarted and yes now when you open your node red you will see this pop-up uh, which will ask you to either create a project or clone a repository or open an existing project so we will create a project here you need to pass on your github credentials so I will pass on my github credentials which is this and then like, like give any uh, name you want to uh, give to your project so I will give the node red and my name of my channel full stack devlogs right and we will give some descriptions that all the uh, progress made on YouTube channel will be available here right we go next and this is the flows uh, json file which will be created inside the project where all our flow jsons will be uh, saved i just want to disable description right now we will talk about enabling encryptions and using custom keys later uh, in separate video as of now we just want to make it simple so i will disable the encryption creating the project now my project has been created successfully now as I said to you in, uh, before starting this video that we will see a fifth tab so yeah we see it now this is the history tab that I was talking about you see this uh, git kind of logo versioning kind of logo and now you don't see any local file changes here or anything and one thing you will observe in the info tab there is this project node red full stack devlogs and when you go here in the settings area you will see this that this is master uh, branch and there is no remote branch by default so there is no git remote added so what I will do is I will quickly go to my github and I will create a new repository just now in front of you which will be called as node red full stack dev logs I will not give any description as of now keep it public no need to create any files right now we will do that later I am creating the repository and I got my repository URL just copy this URL after copying this URL add the remote branch here pasted it here it's giving me some kind of error or something no it's okay and now let's add remote so yeah see uh, the original is added now fine 
one more thing like you would be seeing that there is no such like uh, and uh, you will see that uh, in the commit history there is a create project commit already created uh, for the project that has been created into the uh, new uh, remote and now using this button manage remote branch click on this and just say uh, you will see that there is no local branch is currently tracking a remote branch so we will create a remote branch right away and we will name this branch YouTube so all my YouTube uh, like while creating the videos whatever work I'm doing I will create in the YouTube uh, branch create branch YouTube and I will set it as the upstream branch I will push it it will ask for my credentials again so give your github credentials friends and push it it's done two minutes ago you see this is a commit created two minutes ago and we have pushed it just right now and now if I go back to my so you will see the create project commit is here and our flows JSON is already here created. One more thing I would like to quickly show you uh, how these things work. So local changes there is no change. If I just uh, change the position of one of the nodes you will see that it is undeployed and showing as undeployed changes. I will deploy it and now you see there is a local file change. I will just uh, stage this change and this change will be in the staged changes. Now I can commit it and I will say test for commit this is in my commit history but not yet into the remote branch so I will push it you can see the logs also here it's done changes have been pushed let's go back to the repo and see yeah test for commit is there so and you can see that our commit is already here right so that was all uh, now you will be seeing everything that we do in this uh, new newly created repository and I will add the link to this repository on the project description I will add the link about this uh, introduction to Node-RED projects uh, in case you are very new and want to explore how projects are created and related all the configurations inside a project and obviously you have my my details over there so that's all for now thank you for being there and thank you so much do like and share in your group if you like my content and please do subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any updates because I will try to give uh, and keep on uploading all my learnings and all my progress uh, like in alternate days or so thank you